Hey guys, it's Mike with 40 Plus Fitness, and today we wanted to give you the 40 Plus Fitness perspective on a common question that's out there right now between two of the best workout plans that are out there, which includes P90X and Insanity. And now, again, the perspective we're going to come at this with is if you're over 30 or over 40 like myself, you want to still stay in great shape. Uh, you're not trying to put on a lot of mass. You're just trying to be as healthy as you can. Now, first of all, I want to play right off the bat that either of these programs is going to be fantastic for you, especially if you're not in that great of shape. You really are going to lose weight. If you stick these out till the end, you'll lose weight. You'll get ripped. You'll, you'll maybe build some muscle as well, too, depending on which program that you choose. So I want to say that both are great programs. Um, but I want to give you a little bit of a comparison. So if you're thinking about deciding which one is for you, you'll have a little bit more understanding. So let's just kind of go down through the list. First of all, we'll talk about who the creators of the programs are. We'll talk about how long they last, what kind of equipment that you need, how much do they cost, and what's the main focus of each one. So we'll start with P90X, and then we'll compare it to Insanity. So P90X, the creator, is Tony Horton. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's pretty famous by now. Insanity's creator is Sean T. You've seen him on TV, very charismatic guy. Um, both of them you know, we're very thankful that they created these programs. Each one has a special slogan. I thought it was kind of neat to point this out. The P90X slogan is called Bring It. And then Insanity is called Dig Deeper. And when you're doing Insanity and you hear Sean T say, Dig Deeper, Dig Deeper, sometimes you want to just, you know, say, I can't do anymore. But a lot of times that will get you through. Now, the length of the programs is a big difference between them. And you certainly want to understand this. P90X is a 90 day program whereas Insanity is a 60-day program. So that alone is kind of a, a big factor right there. Make sure that when you're making this commitment, you can go for a full two or three months. Also, you want to understand the schedule of the workouts. If you're going to do the full program, it's six days a week on one day off. That's the same for both programs. The other thing you want to understand is the average length of workout time. When you're doing P90X, it's about a 60 to 75 minute workout, whereas the average workout with Insanity is 45 minutes. And I've seen some of them you can do in like 20 minutes or so. Um, also, you want to understand if you're going to need equipment. Now, with P90X, it, it's really recommended that you have a pull-up bar, and that you have either resistance bands, like you've seen me use in some of my other videos, or maybe some dumbbells. And it's also optional that you have a push-up bar so that you can get even deeper, you know, um, um, extremes when you're actually doing your push-ups as well too. You can kind of go beyond the negative, so to speak. With Insanity, you don't need any equipment. Now, both of them, it's recommended that you have a yoga mat or some sort of a mat and maybe a heart rate monitor. That would always be good, um, particularly with Insanity, and you'll find out why in a moment. But uh, you don't really have to have anything for Insanity, so I kind of put that as a plus. Each one of these kind of has a, a specific focus and a style. With P90X, the focus is on certainly losing weight, but it's also on, I like to think, it's more like uh, building muscle and, um, you know, it gives you a whole variety of workouts. It's a real total body workout. There's a lot of, not necessarily weight training, but resistance training that's in there. And the, real, the style that Tony Horton calls it is called muscle confusion. You're really trying to shock your muscles with unusual uh, things that you're doing or different um, rotations that you're doing them in. Um, and it really can do a, a, a pretty effective job. I mean, I had a friend, um, pretty you know decent in shape when he started. He's about 220 or so. He cut down to about 190 just doing P90X. And so he's, he swears by it. Um, you get 12 DVDs with P90X, whereas with Insanity, you get 10. I don't know why that makes a difference. But, you know, that's, that is what it is. And the cost is about the same. When they first came out, each one cost about 120 bucks. I know there's different versions of them now that have maybe more or less, but that's the thing you want to understand. Now, again, switching over to Insanity, um, this is really more focused. Certainly, you're going to lose weight. You're going to get ripped up on Insanity. It's more of cardio endurance. It's, it's really cardio fitness. Uh, I, I like to think of it. I love your opinion on either of these. If you have a comment to share, you think I'm totally wrong, please share it with me. Um, but really with, with Insanity, you're going to get ripped and you're going to get lean. It's not as much focused on building muscle as P90X is. It's more focused on cardio, agility, speed. I mean, the workouts that you do, I mean, it just... It's it's killer, man. Let me tell you. Um, but you certainly, like I said, you're going to lose weight with either of these programs. You probably will build more muscle with P90X, which I think you'll get more ripped with cardio. That's, again, just my opinion. And the a focus of insanity is really what, what's called max interval training. If you've looked at some of our other videos, we talk about the benefits of interval training. High intensity interval training versus steady state cardio can burn much more fat. And insanity takes that 
high intensity interval training to the next level with what Tony Arushanti calls max interval training. Uh, if you're interested in either of these things, I would encourage you to, to look at some other videos, see some of the workouts, give them a try kind of before you buy, so to speak. Either one of these you can get, you know, a, a kind of a trial workout on. Like I said, you can't go wrong with either one, but this video is just trying to help you understand which each program offers so you can make the best choice for yourself. I always encourage you to do your research. Again, love to know what you think, but hopefully we've been able to answer some questions on what's the difference between P90X and Insanity. Again, love to know your comments. Till next time, this is Mike saying thanks and God bless you.